Hello and welcome to What's In This Week's Open Times with me, Alice Butcher. Me, Cathy Griffiths. And me, Fiona Scott. And it's another busy news week at the Open Times. There's tons of stuff in this week's paper and we would encourage you to go out and get a copy um, because you're helping to support local journalism. So one of the stories that I've got this week in the Open Times concerns a major uh, health and social care budget consultation Essentially, uh, the people that run our health and social care services at Argyll and Butte are having to find in the region of £7 million of savings this year. And that's essentially put a question mark over a number of different services that are provided, including to this area. One of the chief worries is that Eda Glynn, the local residential home in Auburn, could be put at risk if the health and social care partnership decides that it can no longer afford to run this property. Um, what the officials are saying at the moment is that no decisions have been made. Uh, they're not saying at this stage that Eda Glynn is indeed uh, being lined up for closure, but they're also crucially not ruling it out either. So I'd encourage anyone uh, who's interested in this issue and that perhaps has concerns uh, to make sure that they take part in the consultation. That consultation runs until February the 19th, and you can find out how to get involved in the consultation by picking up a copy of this week's Open Times, or indeed catching the story online on our website. Just turning now to our intrepid reporter, Kathy Grissis. What, what have you been up to, Kathy? It's like Kathy Grissis, or Kathy Grissis. <laughs> Put my teeth in. Put my teeth in. Oh, well, I've um, I've had a lovely little story over on Mull. Uh, a young lad called Owen De La Rey, who turned six this week, and uh, of all the things he could get for his birthday, what do you think he got? Quick guess. Come on, quick fire guess. A football. Football. A no. big cake. Come on, Alice. Quick one. A big cake. I'm sure there was cake. I'm sure there was cake. But he actually got a house for him and his lovely little family. Now, this is part of um, a plan over at Ulver Ferry to provide some affordable housing. Uh, the Mull and, Iona, Mull and Iona Community Trust have been involved. Uh, they had four houses. They had 31 applicants um, to get one of these wonderful new homes. And people should be moving in by April. And Owen's family was one of the lucky for and it just so happened that his house that was being delivered in bits it's one of these prefab houses it was being delivered in bits loaded off a big crane arrived on site on his sixth birthday so mum took him along as a bit of a birthday treat to see his house so what a gift so you can see some lovely little pictures and read all about that in this week's ot there we go fee what about you i've got good news good news as well all good news so last year we reported that the original office bearers of the Friends of Open Community Play Park group would be standing down and they were appealing for new blood to take on the four administrative roles. So their calls have now been answered and in this week's paper we'll be introducing the new generation of caretakers who have came on board to ensure that the wonderful facility up at Atlantis Leisure will be in safe hands for years to, years to come. So to find out who, who the new committee are, pick up this week's Open Times. Also, da, 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 there's some really exciting news about uh, Bob McIntyre on the sports pages following his out, outing at the Dubai Desert Classic on Sunday. So you can see what Bob's been up to again in this week's paper. Bob is certainly flying the flag for Auburn on the international golf stage, isn't he? He's what a guy. He, cer he certainly is. It's brilliant when you think he's, he's up amongst Tiger Woods and, you know, the the great golfers. He's, he's doing brilliant. Well it's, done, Bob. It's an incredible story and uh, I'm sure we'll be following Bob's success throughout this year. Anyway, here at the Auburn Times, we're always happy to hear from you. So stay in touch, tell us your stories, keep sharing your photographs. You can contact us by calling 01631 568 000, or you can email editor at auburntimes.co.uk or you can message us on Facebook. Don't forget, you can also read or pick up a copy of the OT from supermarkets, news agents and petrol stations, or you can go online to get the digital page-turning edition of the Open Times. 
So for this week, it's goodbye from me, Alice Butcher. Bye from me, Cathy Griffiths. And bye from me, Fiona Scott. Bye. Bye.